Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This week we're at Oak Mountain just outside of Birmingham, Alabama. This park has 10,000 acres of beautiful nature to explore. The boys have come together for another camping trip at an enduro put on by Go Nuts Biking. Every chance we have to get together we jump on it. I really enjoy truck camping. It allows me to disconnect from the everyday rat race. Let's get registered with Mrs. Nuts, the brains behind the series. Hey Dave. So, what do, we, what do we got going on today? It's some kind of enduro going up here at the top of the mountain. What you doing? I just showed up, man. You, I mean, so what do we got? What's a quick recap of the race? Just real right quick. Now, everybody's just now coming up at the top of the mountain. They, they had the choice of either showing themselves up or pedaling up. A lot of people chose to pedal up to warm up. They're going in here to stage one. That's great, man. We well, really appreciate everything you do, man. Have you ever raced before? For enduros, I would recommend knee pads and a full face helmet if you plan on being safe as well as competitive. No matter how many races I've done, each time feels just as amazing as the last. Racing and being around like-minded people has always been a passion of mine after I got into cycling in my late 20s. I don't care if I win, lose, or tie, because I'm here for the good times. So wrapped up in the excitement, I didn't bring a GoPro mount for my helmet for stage one or two. So we're at the start of stage two, where there's a wood roll off. Would you hit this feature in your race run? If anyone watching has good footage from stage one or two, please leave a link below. Thanks in advance. So I'm not going to comment on those stages very much. They were fast and flowy. Get off the shed, get off the shed. So we're gonna grab a couple things that you're gonna need to uh, film an enduro. First, you're gonna need a, uh, a lock pin, and then you're gonna need a helmet with a mount on it. Then you need a camera and a GoPro, a battery and SD card, a muffle thing, and you need one more part. And if you don't have that one more part that I'm talking about, you won't be able to film stage one and two. But when you get back to the car, you can get that part to film. And again, we're USA sanctioned, so everybody you see behind us that are our USA annual license holders, these points are gonna be turned in nationally, and that's what we're bringing to you in 2020. We're bringing a full series. So check out our website, gonutsbiking.com, and look at our full schedule for 2020, because we got an enduro series for you guys. Come check us out. So we are talking about working on our fitness, and like, I think you work on your fitness, or you can just really protest for like a, um, a Clydesdale, or what's what else do they call it? I like Clydesdale. Clydesdale's a nice yeah, way to label. I'm more of Hobbit. Hob I think I fit more into the Hobbit Do you have furry feet? Category. Uh, yeah. You have furry feet? Okay, well, it looks like you've accepted this Hobbit situation. I'm good with Pretty it. Pretty solid. Okay. So we're gonna do Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get all the Hobbit, Hobbit class. Hobbit class, um, Clydesdale. We need another class of people just looking to have fun and party in it. So like there should be a party category for um, the bigger guys that hold down the beers and stuff during the race. Shuttle, the shuttle class. The shuttle class, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like shuttle. a pack mule. Let's hop into some POV. Stage three is Blood Raw, the gnarliest stage of the Enduro. I watched a couple guys from Rowdy Town skip through here. I can't believe how fast they were going. All right. Now nah, we're gonna be fine. You ready? Come on. Oh shit! Oh gears. Bike not working. It's always a lot of fun, huh? Yeah, I know. what enduro is this isn't your beginner sport this is obviously the advanced riders uh, we do have different classes amateur and expert and even pro um, but again those amateurs are <laughs> no amateur they're just trying to beat the quickest time and work their way up to the top because uh, I mean like I said I mean just your average uh, everyday mountain biker can't go down black diamonds and even double diamonds so uh, and that's that's what this is all about it's a hike and bike it really divides you know it separates you know basically the men from the boys getting up there and saying hey this is what we do we can hike it we can bike it we can climb it and we can definitely down it so that's where we're at all right well I appreciate everything you come out and say today and everybody appreciates what go nuts biking is offering the community in the southeast look forward to more races and Thanks for everything you do. Thanks, brother. I don't know. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah bud! I continue having shifting issues because I can't make up my mind on which set I want to go with. I got tons of comments with all kinds of options. Some mentioned Cane Creek components, Rock Shocks, Fox, DVO, Eagle, NX, GX. I don't know. I need more input from you guys though. I'm all about the numbers. What would you like to see me on? Get it! Woo! Put my gloves on, man. Shoot. Alright, I'm gonna go. Y'all give me a few minutes. Right. You think she got enough of a gap now? Tight turn! Paddle, 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 paddle! Tight! Oh, it's a King Creek guy. What's up? Uh, I don't know on you. Get it, Get it bud. Maybe. There you go. Right. Woo! No, it's Jared and buddy. Oh shit, let's go. Come on, what are you doing? Gonna drop it. Push one. You catch that cat worm. Oh, oh, that one. I'm whooped, and this stage has some climbing in it. I'm feeling these sprints on my legs for sure. I have one tip, and that is hydration and fueling has to be a priority for this type of riding. Forget your diet and bring snacks. What snacks do you bring on the trail with you? Oh, talking about some ham. Oh, shit. Ooh, lots of moves rocks there. Ooh. I'm so tired I can't even jump it. Oh, I did jump that yesterday though. I did. Sure. So next year in 2020, we're going to have a um, five race series that's going to be all through the southeast. Montesano, we've got TTC, we're coming back here at Oak Mountain. We got uh, Blue Ridge. Man, we got all kinds of races going on next year. And uh, hope everybody comes back, check it out. Um, they are all USA Cycling, so make sure you get your USA Cycling uh, annual license because those points will be turned in nationally. And if you want to go to nationals for that, you know, you get to go online and check those scores out, and it's going to be awesome, man. We, I mean, that's what we're trying to bring. We're trying to bring more for your points to count and for you to be more recognized 
nationally and maybe go to, uh, you know, who, who knows, the Olympics or whoever down the road. Yeah, we have XC races. Uh, we got a couple of dual slalom. Uh, we got two slal uh, two dual slaloms that's going to be held down in Chihuahua Park this year. One's going to be held in the spring, one's going to be held in the fall. Along with our other enduro races throughout the year, it'll be a full pack weekend. You'll have an uh, enduro on Saturdays. You'll, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, you'll have XC on Saturdays and enduro on Sundays. Every type of mountain biker will be here from, you name it. I mean, why not bring it all together and introduce new stuff? I mean, who knows, you might bring an XC rider into uh, Enduro. You might bring an Enduro rider over to XC. You might have that one rider that wants to do both. I mean, who knows? You know, that's what we're all about, sharing the love of all cycling. So come on and join us. Wrapping up a day watching podiums, as well as looking back at the day, I am thankful for my friends and the cycling community that I've found. Make sure to check out Go Nuts Biking if you're in the southeast, looking to join the fun. Always remember, pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes.